When I think summer, I think beaches, beaches, and well, more beaches. And there's plenty of places to travel this summer with or without a passport. If you're looking for someplace affordable, add Lisbon, Portugal to your list. Known for its unique architecture and rich history. And I'm not just talking monuments. I mean, the hotels are incredible. Casa do Principe is in the heart of the city. And believe me, I never turn down free breakfast. But you can't visit Lisbon without exploring the sea. Book a boat tour, you won't regret it. They even let you drive the boat. Listen, if you can't drive, honestly, swimming is way better anyway. I came across this picture of Praia de Cuscais, and I had to see it for myself. And if you like to explore, Pena Palace is worth the journey. But what if you don't have a passport? Well, Playa Calora in Puerto Rico ain't too shabby. This is where clear water meets red sand. But don't drown your drone in the ocean like I did. Old San Juan has some of the most vibrant color buildings and delicious food. And if you're not afraid of heights, El Yunque Forest will have you in a chokehold when it comes to adrenaline rushes. But if you are afraid of heights and flying, a road trip along the coast of California might literally change your life. From windy roads to picturesque cliffs, it's a scenic route you'll want to take. If you end up in the desert like I did, Airstream life is the way to go. And if you're down for adventure, a little off-roading might do the trick. But summer's just getting started, and there's so much of the world to see. It's never too late to book a trip.